616 on this Wednesday, the day after the 4th of July. Hope you had a good one, everybody. And today is going to be a repeat, but a little hotter. <laughs> yeah, so we made it to 95 yesterday afternoon, which is so far the hottest day that we've had of 2017. Today, I'm actually forecasting a high of 97. Wow. Which would be a couple more degrees over that. The record for today is 100, so I don't think we're going to break any records. But when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like upwards of 100 degrees during much of the afternoon. We're not just talking like just when we hit our high. We're talking by lunchtime, it's going to feel like the low 100. Now, already this morning, we're in the upper 80s as far as it feels like we're in the upper 80s. Absolutely. It is very warm and very muggy out there. And when you don't see those temperatures drop below 80, you're going to see that heat index uh, this early in the morning. Right now, it's 78 degrees at Charleston International with a partly cloudy sky. We'll be into the low 90s inland already by lunchtime. Mid 90s this afternoon as you look towards 4 o'clock and 86 at 8 o'clock this evening. A mix of sun and clouds on the way through the rest of the day. Satellite radar picture shows we did have a couple of stray showers through Williamsburg and Georgetown County this morning. Even a couple of showers here right around that 26 I-95 interchange there. Those are going to be headed into Berkeley County. Very light in nature, not really going to slow you down as you head out and about this morning. Temperatures right now ranging from 74 in Kings Tree to 81 in Mount Pleasant. It's 78 currently for you in Goose Creek, Somerville, and in Walterboro. 79 right now on Edisto Beach. As you take a look at the forecast for this afternoon, here's where we're headed. I do think we're going to make it into the low 90s at the beaches this afternoon. 90 Kiowa Island in McClellanville, a high of 94 in King Street, 96 for the afternoon high in Walterboro. Again, when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like anywhere from around 100 to around 106 during the afternoon. 96 as you look towards Somerville this afternoon, 94 in Mount Pleasant, and 90 for the afternoon high from Edisto Beach up to the Isle of Palms. So here's a couple of tips on how you can stay cool in the heat and beat the heat. Make sure you're staying hydrated, drink lots of water, even if you're not necessarily thirsty. This will help to keep you a little bit on the cooler side. Also slow down, try to reschedule those activities for right around now this morning or wait until later this evening, especially if you're trying to get in some outdoor exercise early in the morning or later in the evening are the best times. Also wear lightweight, let, loose fitting and light colored clothing if you are going to be outside and try to tra take frequent breaks from being outdoors in the heat. As you take a look at the forecast for tonight, we get those temperatures down into the low 80s at the beaches. That indicates just how warm and muggy it's going to be through the overnight hours. Inland, you're looking at overnight lows in the mid 70s with the south wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And it's not just today we're talking about. The heat and the humidity continues through the rest of the week and even into the upcoming weekend. Thursday and Friday, not terribly different from today. Temperatures still into the mid 90s inland with feels like temperatures in the afternoon, about 100 to around 105 every afternoon through the remainder of the week. As we look towards the weekend, we do get some slightly cooler temperatures into the upper 80s to low 90s because of that increased chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, but you're still feeling like the upper 90s to the low 100s during the hottest part of the afternoon. At the beaches, we make it into the low 90s all the way through Saturday, then we back off just slightly back into the mid 80s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. As we take a look